can happen to be procured. Dr. Desperate right here. The, the strict answer is no, it cannot be cured. When you say cured, it means someone have a problem. We treated the problem, problem never come back. We call it cured. What can be cured? Example, H. pylori infection, helicobacter pylori infection, you have an infection, we give you the proper antibiotic, we killed it, we have a follow-up scope, a follow-up urea breath test, or follow-up to antigen test to show that the bacteria is no more, then we call it cured because you won't get it again, or the one is gone. Of course, if you take dirty food, you can get H. pylori second time, but the first infection is cured. But hepatitis B, being a virus, is very hard to cure. We have now, a long time ago, we believe that when we suppress the viruses uh, and the hepatitis B surface antigen change from positive to negative, we call it cure. In fact, long time ago, we tell patients, well, you have acute hepatitis B, your S antigen positive, we give you medication or you recover by yourself, the S antigen now negative. Anti-HBS, the antibody become positive. So your S antigen change from positive to negative, as antibody change from negative to positive, you were cured. That was the last time. Because after that, uh, uh, many case series, case studies, uh, mainly from Taiwan and China, they show that even after you are cured of, uh, even after you have lost an S antigen, uh, patients are still at a very small risk, very small but more than zero. Very small risk that develop liver cancer and liver cirrhosis. Uh, and later on, we also learned some studies that I was involved in at National University Hospital Singapore and um, most part of Asian Centre. We know that a happy carrier, that, or rather an ex-happy carrier, S antigen negative, anti-HPS positive, if they have hepatitis B before, the anti-HP core total is positive. So they have past exposure to hepatitis B but not the carrier anymore. When they undergo chemotherapy or immunotherapy, or steroid therapy, sometimes the happy can become active again. We call it reactivation or flare uh, when they're undergoing chemotherapy or a steroid or immunosuppressant. So we know that once a happy carrier, even if they have S engine negative, they are at risk of getting complication small but more than zero. They also can reactivate when they are when the immune system is weakened either by chemotherapy or steroid. So therefore, to answer the question that someone asked me on the email, uh, can hepatitis be cured? Answer is, I'm sorry to say, no. So we hepatologists derive a term, we call it functional cure. Functional cure means they are S engine negative, anti-HBS positive, they have a very low risk of complication. If we don't disturb the immune system, they should be fine. So we call it functional cure, but not uh, a complete, complete cure. So what do you do? Well, uh, when you develop functional cure, when your S antigen is negative, usually the virus level will drop to a very low level in the blood. But if we do a liver biopsy, we use a very sensitive method called PCR to look for the virus in the liver, we may still find the liver. So they're not completely cured, they're not a cure, but we call it functional cure. And what can you do? Well, there's nothing much you can do. Uh, if you're a happy carrier, see your doctor on a regular uh, basis, we, we, we recommend every six months, do a blood test, do a scan to make sure no cirrhosis, no cancer, no flare, no reactivation. If you have turned into a functional cure, as engine become negative, a virus level become undetectable in the blood, uh, no liver issue, we know the risk of complication is low. We normally see them maybe once a year just for a routine checkup, and we do also want them to not donate blood, do not, uh, 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 do not ignore it when you take chemotherapy or steroid, Tell the doctor, your oncologist, I hope not, okay? If you have cancer, when you see oncologists, tell them that I used to have a heavy carrier, but the doctor told me I'm no longer a carrier. Your oncologist will know that it is a functional cure. They will refer you back to a liver specialist. We do cover that with antiviral treatment when they need to take either high-dose steroid or they take chemotherapy. So to, un to conclude, uh, there's no cure for hepatitis B. The viruses in my new among may still live in the liver and the white blood cells. Um, they normally don't cause any trouble unless they take immunosuppressant like steroid or they take chemotherapy for whatever other cancer. Uh, they have a very low risk of getting complication, but the risk is unfortunately more than zero, so not exactly zero. So there's no cure for hepatitis B, but we can, we can achieve functional cure. I hope it clarified. Dr. Desperate